Hi guys, welcome back to the OVC YouTube channel. Today, Jenna is going to be telling us about her all pay experience in America. Hi Jenna, how are you? Hi, I'm good, thanks. How are you? Great, thank you. Can you tell us what was your reasoning for choosing OVC to do your all pairing program? Well, I had really good things from friends that had told me about them. And when I tried them, I had great responses and they were very helpful. So I decided they were the ones to go to. And how do you feel with the support given on program with our partners or pair care, um, with your area director doing her check-ins and all of that? Um, I've been lucky. I've had a really great area director that whenever I've reached out, she's picked up the phone and phoned me and checked on me. Like, honestly, I haven't had a lot to reach out for. I've okay. like been pretty fine. But when I have, she's been really, really great. Okay, that's awesome. And where are you based in America? I'm currently in Sacramento in California, which is the capital. It's very more inland, but it's pretty cool. Okay, and can you tell me a bit about your host family? How many children are you currently looking after? And what does your day-to-day -day schedule look so, like within the family? <laughs> My children keep me very busy. I love them. Um, I've been with the same family for like two years now. I okay. have three kids. Um, the baby's 18 months. I was here when she was born. So I've oh, been sweet. with her through her whole life, which is awesome. Um, my two kids have the same birthday. They just turned five and eight. Um, okay. So they're the same birthday, three years apart, which is kind of cool. Um, obviously, my schedule's a little bit different now because we have COVID. But before yeah. that, I would do like school drop off some breakfast and lunch and like stuff like that. And nap time, it was pretty like set schedule. And I had the baby with me all the time. She's like the okay. whole part and we do everything together. <laughs> but right now, I just log them onto school. We play in the house. We go for walks. We go to the park. Okay. We do lunch and nap time every day. Um, my schedule is a little bit different because my host parents are separated. Okay. So I only have the kids half the time. Yes. So when I don't have the kids, I'm off and I can do what I want. <laughs> well, that's nice then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and what do you normally do in your free time and with your days off? Um, I try to do some yoga or like journal or go for a walk. Okay. Things are obviously a little bit different now. Like if I meet yeah. up with friends, it's social distanced and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, but normally I try to like meet up with a friend sometimes if they're free just to like get out or hang out with my host mom. My host mom and I are really good friends. So okay, that's nice. I hang out with her. <laughs> <laughs> and you said you've been there for a while. So were you there pre-COVID? So did you get to travel at all since being on your program? If so, what are some of the places that you've had the chance to experience? Okay, so I did my host family last year. We went, we like traveled a little bit in California. We did like the beach holidays, we went to like Santa Cruz. We did camping, which was fun. But then I've also traveled by myself. I went to Florida to like Disney World and stuff like that, which was so awesome. I went with a friend and then I did like an au pair class in Florida. So okay. I got my credits at the same time, which worked out really great. Um, I saw family friends and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But I obviously had to cancel a lot of traveling too. Like I had a lot yes. planned for this year because I was like, I've saved up more, I can travel. And then COVID happened. So oh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So what advice would you give to other young ladies that are looking to sign up for the program based off what you've experienced? I would say do it. Um, 100%. It's the best thing I've ever done. Mm -hmm. But take your time. Don't rush into a family. I know some girls that have just been like, I'm gonna take the first family that I get. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do take your time. Even if you're sure, keep interviewing. And if it makes you more confident in your decision, do that. Mm -hmm. And what has been some of your favorite American food that you've had the chance to try? Well, I live in California, so we have In-N-Out, which is like McDonald's, but so much better. <laughs> <laughs> So that would be like the fast food is my favorite. Okay. And then my family, um, my host mom's Jewish. So that's mm -hmm. been something like all the new Jewish foods and stuff has been cool. And my host dad is Arabic. So I used to try his food too. Okay. So I've just like tried a bunch of new foods, but probably Jewish latkes. <laughs> nice. You see, so you, you tried something and that's awesome. Yeah, I did. <laughs> And have you picked up any funny American sayings or phrases that you're just like, ooh, we don't say that um, at home, but I like that. <laughs> um, yes and no. I feel like when I speak to my host kids, I do a lot. Okay. But I feel like when I'm like talking to other people, I don't, which is really weird. But um, nothing that like stands out. I say, yeah, 
a lot, which irritates me because I don't like saying that. Yeah, <laughs> but, but it, it becomes a habit. <laughs> because, exactly, because you're living in it. So that would probably be the biggest one. My host mom has started saying like just now well like now now okay. which is really funny because they don't use stuff like that yeah yes so I think she's caught on to me more than I've <laughs> caught on to her that's great then have you also shared some of your South African traditions and foods with your host family I what have for my birthday last year my host dad made bunny chow for everyone okay. it was not the same but it was pretty close and it was really <laughs> good I've done like milk tart too mm-hmm. um And then like just some snacks that I've been sent over, but traditional okay. probably just like uh, we live in Durban. <laughs> <Bunny Jail. laughs> nice. So that's awesome. So thank you so much for taking time out of your morning to chat to me quickly. Totally. Thank you for having me. To everyone else that's watching, please remember to like the video and subscribe below. Thank you.